Bitcoin stable and consolidating. Now there is something to be said that's good about Bitcoin stability in that it's better than it going down. For anyone also saying that Bitcoin stability is good for the currency aspect, there's a very good reason most people don't use it as a currency. Number one, it's not quite yet there as a technology, but most importantly, the market cap isn't quite there yet. We want to use it as a currency, we want it to go to the moon first. Now here's an interesting picture of the last time Bitcoin was this stable. This comes from Moon Overlord on Twitter. I love Twitter names. The time is almost up on completing the same pattern as Bitcoin completed at around $6,000 with some volatility, but generally sideways tra trading until a 50% drop down to 3,800, but with some sideways trading, some volatility within that, but mostly sideways. We haven't spent the same duration quite yet, but it's getting there. Now these gifts sum up people's opinions on this quite well, I think. But also this is another technical indicator, which uh, I prefer personally. So it seems like it's make or break time for Bitcoin, but I would imagine popular opinion still has Bitcoin at at least a 51% chance of going up as versus down. TA is uh, vague once more. Bitcoin price is setting up for the next key break against the US dollar. Bitcoin could either rally above 3,900 or decline below 3,800 in the coming sessions. So you heard it here, folks. There is a possibility that Bitcoin will fluctuate 2.5% in the coming sessions. Stellar is up six or seven percent today. I don't believe it. I can't believe it. Can, can things really be this clear and obvious? I don't know. I kind of think people are smarter than that, but maybe I'm just wrong. Stellar is up about 30% in the last five days. It was last night when Coinbase Pro announced that they would list Stellar. So here we are again, folks. So was Stellar's growth just natural trading? Was it from news five days ago of a German media company partnering with them? Or was it executives and people in the know at Coinbase? It could very well be that Stellar would have grown more, except for the fact that there was people in the know stockpiling it before this announcement, suppressing its growth. Maybe the same thing happened for XRP. To be clear, it's an awful abuse of power, and at the same time, the answer to it would be regulation, which I'm not a huge fan of. Not sure how that would turn out for anyone in the long term. So in the meantime, I'll just say, good job Coinbase, you did it again. Or maybe they didn't, I don't know. Looking at the announcement itself, it is only on Coinbase Pro for now, but it would uh, probably be expected to be on the retail Coinbase.com shortly afterwards, like in the situation of XRP. Speaking of gross abuses of power, Tether has slightly updated its terms and conditions. Every Tether is always 100% backed by our reserves, which include traditional currency and cash equivalents, and from time to time may include other assets and receivables from loans made by Tether to third parties, which may include affiliated entities, collectively reserves. Every Tether is pegged to a dollar, so it's always valued at a dollar. So the wording is quite confusing, somewhat vague, but here's what can be interpreted from it. They print Tether, $100 million worth. They buy Bitcoin with it. That Tether is now backed by, how, what do they say? Our reserves may include other assets. So the Bitcoin that they just bought then, it backs the Tether. Beautiful. This is a bombshell of an admission, all but essentially owning up to the fact that they practice fractional reserves. This is on the top of our cryptocurrency as of right now, 4,000 readers currently with 854,000 total readers. A Tether is still over a dollar. But if I'm honest, I immediately went to check the price of Tether upon this news, hoping that there was some sort of discount because I would have bought it up, would, expecting that it would have returned again eventually to $1. But the fact that it's actually still stable has 
Two interesting implications, I think. Number one, we don't have as much of a powerful voice on Reddit as we think we do. And I think that's true. This is why I thought the whole venomous bashing of the Bitcoin subreddit censorship by Bitcoin Cash maximalists was a little bit silly, just because it's a Reddit page, okay? Censorship is, yeah, it's not great, but at the end of the day, it's just one website. Another good example of this is EOS, how there's almost... One second. Sorry, where was I? EOS, yes. Almost daily that there is a FUD article about EOS, highly upvoted on our cryptocurrency, and yet still, EOS sits very comfortably in a top five position. Of course, there is another possible implication from Tether remaining stable. Everyone already knew and or expected this to be the case, which I also believe is true. Here's an unpopular opinion for you. Tether is the best thing in crypto. Forget the SEC, forget a Bitcoin ETF. We don't need that. Forget natural growth. If you want to get rich overnight, Bitfinex are best positioned to make that a reality for you. I also believe that's probably true. <laughs> now, if I'm honest, the only two things that actually make me say maybe Tether isn't the best thing in crypto, in fact, far from it, is number one, printing of Tether caused prices to go up. But they also cause prices to unfortunately come down, introduce a lot of volatility into the crypto markets, which brings a lot of negativity as well. It's hard to take it seriously. A lot of people get burned. But number two as well, a big, big danger is regulation. Maybe regulator regulatory bodies look at the fact that Bitfinex is essentially running a central bank, printing money. That's a bit of a threat. Let's shut it down. They shut down all the tether, which causes a huge market cap implosion for all of crypto. A huge one. The market cap of tether is actually way, 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 way higher than what you see there because most trading volume actually comes from Tether. So wrapping the story back up very neatly in a bow to the insider trading story, bringing regulation into the space is a very, very double-edged sword of a mire, a minefield. We don't know what implications it could bring if it challenges what we think is good to begin with, but then has ripple effects. <sighs> Maybe the best thing to do is to just make the best out of the crazy situation we're in right now. All right, that's the end of the episode. Would appreciate a like. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon.